USA Today does this thing where they gather like people that do this for a living. Like their whole gig is wrapped around a certain college football team. And then they have them, they go and they, you know, they'll send them an email or whatever, and they have them pick the game. And so, like, you know, obviously all the Georgia people pick Georgia to win big, right? So they pulled three Tennessee guys. They pulled uh, Dan Harrelson, who's from Vols Wire, uh, Ken Lay, who's from Vols Wire, and Phil Jones, who's Vols for life. So that's what, right, yeah, for life. VFL. For life, right? Feels like 98. Um, <laughs> but those those guys, are, uh, they literally work for Vols Wire and Vols for Life. Okay? And they ask them to pick the game. Eat, sleep, breathe, Vols. And the first guy from Vols Wire had it Georgia 41-17. Yeah, that's... that's... The second guy from Vols Wire had it 49-17. to <laughs> And the third guy from Balls for Life had it 42-13. They think they're going to get beat by 30. <laughs> That's the people that love Tennessee more than anyone. Exactly. Yeah. And they all they put it in the USA Today, their pick. We're going to lose by 30 <laughs> points. They think they do get they do get pessimistic though when they That is the, crazy. When they though. get when they watch their team yeah. get their ass kicked like they did, Tennessee They've been fans down so much. They, their ego does get kind of like Well, it's like out the, Well, no, look. it's because Bro, they don't when think you have to pick a score and you say 49. <laughs> <laughs> you all of them the closest margin was Dan Harrelson who obviously you could call a complete homer for sure because he said it's only going to be 41 to 17. <laughs> Great guy. The next guy said 49 to 17. 41 to 17. So the closest margin of the Vol homer picks was 24. Yeah. I uh yeah. What would you say lines 10 and a half? Lines 10 and a half. I I <laughs> my it's all Vols people vote that are betting. My yeah. prediction is 45 to 20. <laughs> <laughs> you still get beat by I think George is going to beat the piss bro, out of them. I think they're going to they're gonna do the same thing Missouri did, bro. Just run that, tote that. And joke, Tennessee bro. has to run the ball because, like, Milton can't throw for crap. Like, he had the first half against Bama where it's like, yo, where the hell has this ever been? And then he's reverted back to being the Joe Milton that we've seen the previous – you know, six years. Just so, like, Tennessee has to run the ball. And it's like, bro, are you really going to line up and run the ball against Georgia? Yeah, Georgia's going to line up and, like, beat the crap out of them. In the tr- like, just run it yes. straight down. The oh, yeah, here's the all game. I know. Just Here's all I know. Then I was like, last week, the Georgia Ole Miss game was 14-14. to And I went and took a piss and came back, and it was 35-14. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> And I was like, hold on. Right quick in a hurry, bro. I thought I was a game. What, like, what just happened? Yeah, like, we got a game. I, no, I just don't. walked no. out of the room for five minutes. Let's see here. It happens fast. They got, they got dogs. Oh, No my pun intended. Dude. Well, and you, like, against Ole Miss, you could see, like, that was, like, night game in Athens. And that place, like, I mean, they came back from a break. And it was just, like. Everyone in the entire place standing, screaming. <laughs> I mean, going. Oh, yeah. They, they, uh, people they, barking at I, you. I was like, oh, boy. So, <laughs> oh, boy. <laughs> Even Vol- Vols for Life. Um, Maybe it's lazy, though. Isn't it? A, it, it this is a 230 2.30 game CBS at, yeah. game. I mean, in 98, Tennessee uh, beat. They won at. If it feels like 98, yeah. Tennessee won at Georgia that year, 98, 22 to 3. 1898. 1898. Uh, General Before, Nealon's first team. First game. General Nealon. <laughs> first game as coach. General <laughs> Nealon. Hey, oh, man. That's going to be a tough weekend for them because I ain't really, because we got a Vol fan down on the third floor. He ain't been. He he been pumping his chest the whole season. I ain't heard nothing from him all the last two days oh, I've been here. Oh, uh, what's his name? Croc. Yeah. David Croc, Croc man. He, he yeah, no, if, he, if he, was, he feels good about the week, oh. he's can't wait for the game this weekend. Oh, bro, he was right? he was fired up about the game in Alabama, at Tuscaloosa. You fired can, up. Ready I heard to go. You, can, from you can find a fan of everything in this building. It's crazy. The Chris Vernon Show, presented by Caesar Sportsbook, live weekdays at noon 